I'm not a mass-produced baker, I'm an artist, I love to bake, I love to eat, I love to share it to the world, you know, and that's all there is to it. I was always interested in good food, and when I say good food, because I was brought up in that way, so good food for me means seasonal food, fresh food, uh, wonderfully cooked, um, cooked with love, cooked with really beautiful ingredients, being a little bit odd, a little bit different, out of the ordinary. Everything that I learned from my family, I took it with me and then I created uh, my own language when it came to food. So. Um, this is where I am today, and to be honest with you, that has kind of saved my life. Micro Bakery was born during the COVID times, the COVID times of uncertainty and precarious situations, when, um, as everybody else, I lost all my income. So it was not only love, but it was also a necessity. And the micro baking for me is an extension to the creative process, but also setting up your own business as a woman, as a gay woman, and owing the means of production. The ethos is honest, simple, little treats and breads made with love, great ingredients, seasonally, affordably, and feeding the community. It is actually a one-woman operation. I stamp my bags, I pack my product, I make my product, I source my ingredients, I order my ingredients, um, I deliver. So I'm thinking that I would like uh, a permanent space where I can work, but also a space where people can gather. Um, also give opportunity to artists and feed people that are hungry. And it's all about getting people together, which I've always liked to do, uh, over a babka or a slice of bread, or a glass of fresh oranges, or maybe a cocktail. <laughs>